A switched capacitor is an electronic circuit element used for discrete-time signal processing. It works by moving charges into and out of capacitors when switches are opened and closed. Usually, non-overlapping signals are used to control the switches, so that not all switches are closed simultaneously. Filters implemented with these elements are termed switched capacitor filters, and depend only on the ratios between capacitances. This makes them much more suitable for use within integrated circuits, where accurately specified resistors and capacitors are not economical to construct. The switched capacitor resistor. The simplest switched capacitor circuit is the switched capacitor resistor, made of one capacitor C and two switches S1 and S2 which connect the capacitor with a given frequency alternately to the input and output of the SC. Each switching cycle transfers a charge from the input to the output at the switching frequency. Recall that the charge Q on a capacitor C with a voltage V between the plates is given by, where V is the voltage across the capacitor. Therefore, when S1 is closed while S2 is open, the charge stored in the capacitor C S is. When S2 is closed, some of that charge is transferred out of the capacitor, after which the charge that remains in capacitor C S is. Thus, the charge moves out of the capacitor to the output is. Because this charge Q is transferred at a rate F, the rate of transfer of charge per unit time is. Note that we use I, the symbol for electric current, for this quantity. This is to demonstrate that a continuous transfer of charge from one node to another is equivalent to a current. Substituting for Q in the above, we have, let V be the voltage across the SC from input to output. So, so the equivalent resistance I is. Thus, the SC behaves like a resistor whose value depends on capacitance CS and switching frequency F. The SC resistor is used as a replacement for simple resistors in integrated circuits because it is easier to fabricate reliably with a wide range of values. It also has the benefit that its value can be adjusted by changing the switching frequency. See also, operational amplifier applications. This same circuit can be used in discrete time systems as a track and hold circuit. During the appropriate clock phase, the capacitor samples the analog voltage through switch 1 and in the second phase presents this held sampled value to an electronic circuit for processing. The parasitic sensitive integrator, often switched capacitor circuits are used to provide accurate voltage gain and integration by switching a sampled capacitor onto an op amp with a capacitor in feedback. One of the earliest of these circuits is the parasitic sensitive integrator developed by the Czech engineer Bedrick Hosticker. Let us analyze what happens in this case. Denote by the switching period. Recall that in capacitors then, at the instant when S1 opens and S2 closes, we have the following. 1. Because has just charged. 2. Because the feedback cap is suddenly charged with that much charge. Now dividing 2 by and inserting 1. This last equation represents what is going on in, it increases its voltage each cycle according to the charge that is being pumped from. However, there is a more elegant way to formulate this fact if is very short. Let us introduce in and rewrite the last equation divided by dt. Therefore, the op-amp output voltage takes the form. Note that this is an integrator with an equivalent resistance. This allows its online or runtime adjustment. The parasitic insensitive integrator. Use in discrete time systems the delaying parasitic insensitive integrator has a wide use in discrete time electronic circuits such as biquad, filters, anti-alias structures, and delta sigma data converters. This circuit implements the following Z domain function, the multiplying digital to analog converter. One useful characteristic of switched capacitor circuits is that they can be used to perform many circuit tasks at the same time, which is difficult with non discrete time components. The multiplying digital to analog converter is an example as it can take an analog input, add a digital value to it. 
and multiply this by some factor based on the capacitor ratios. The output of the MDAC is given by the following. The MDAC is a common component in modern pipeline analog to digital converters as well as other precision analog electronics and was first created in the form above by Stephen Lewis and others at Bell Laboratories.